Saint Mohammed Buhari has nothing to do with Marzi Nandekano's arrest. So, IPOP should approach Jubilee from Sudan for his arrest. La Mohammed. <laughs> oh my God, Wala. So, what is he trying to say here now? <laughs> if we continue like this, we are not going to move forward, though. That is the gospel truth. If we continue to count what this person do to you and what the other person say to you, we are not going to move forward. And apart from that, it wasn't IPOP that approached Muhammad Buhari to release Mazen and Nandekano. It was Igbo leaders. The elders, they are seeking for peace. And that is how it's supposed to be. You understand? It's really very, very surprising that this is coming, this is coming from a minister. We just have to forgive and forget whatever. Or are we going to say that Igbo people, they don't have two or three or five things to say what the federal government have done against them or what they are doing to them or also? Someone called you a thief and you believe and you behave like one. Then what are you then? Igbo did not come to federal uh, IPOP did not come to federal government, but Igbo elders. But if nothing should, they should, tr they, sh they should be very, very careful so that nothing happens to him. You understand? They are looking for peace. So with this, the way some not, uh, Northern um, coalition of uh, Northern elders or whatever have said that President Muhammad Buhari cannot release Mazen Nandekanu also because Nandekanu, you know, uh commit atrocities kill people and all that which affected their regions you know so many nigerians reacted so what are you talking about Boko Haram? what are you talking about bandits so those ones they don't pose as threat to you but mazin and the canoe and all that honestly we have to push aside all the thing all these things and move forward if not we are going nowhere we are going nowhere unless you people who are, are the leaders are the one destroying the country because everybody are looking for how peace will reign. Releasing Marzen Nandekano and Sunday Boo, other agitators in this country, you know, we, we begin the healing of the nation. It's step by step. I always say it. It's step by step. It's step. So it's not left for President Muhammad Buhari if he's going to listen to these people who are advising him. I believe it's a wrong advice. You understand? It's a wrong advice because more problem, you know, we come up. Okay. Though most Nigerians have reacted to this, let's hear them hard. Okay. Someone said here, yeah, absolute truth. All right. The use of such remarks by a government official, the number one information officer of the country, on a sensitive issue like this is the reason why the crisis over a session could continue to linger unabated, thereby causing more problem in Nigeria. Has La Mohammed forgotten in a hurry how that the late former president Musa Yaradua and the choice of using force on the military groups in the Niger Delta at the height of their emancipation struggles where in the youth resort to use of nefarious activities of kidnapping or oh yeah okay kidnapping expert trade for ramson oh yeah bunkery killings etc but he uttered to use a major instrument of democracy which is dialogue through the amnesty program to address the crisis once and for all, Buhari's government is reaping from the peace in the Niger Delta, but has refused to listen to the voice of council to dialogue with IPO to understand their grievances. If succession is just a platform the youth are using, perhaps their aspirations are embedded in the agitations. Rather, he has engaged force, but the situation is worsening with echo creeping strategy, such as Sitato observed. 
every Monday of the week to drive home their feelings. Perhaps their agitations are sub Summoned in the vices that we emitted on the Igbos during the Civil War. Such vices included the forceful takeover of properties belonging to the Igbos, the elephants of the female for marriages, and the general program, program against the Easterners. Most families cannot recover from the losses during the war because they lost their sources and of living and breadwinners, Nigerian still needs to heal itself from the scars of the civil by forgiving our collective mistakes of the past that resulted to the civil war and disease from stereotyping our eastern brothers with derogatory names like Nyanamiri and the sentiment that they are not good enough to be trusted with the leadership of this country. I was shown houses in Plateau State, belonging to Igbos that was taken over by other Nigerians, despite the use of brutal force against IPOV agitations. They are far from ever, despite the killing of many Igbo people in the eastern region. The situation continued to foster. As a matter of fact, it was the forceful approach that led to the escalation of violent agitations for secession. The Buhari people and the government should swallow their pride and engage the young Easterners in dialogue to address this menace, to give way to the development. Moreover, the government should consider the call for restructuring to allow regional economic advancement rather than the unitary system that has constantly failed to manage our diversity. All right, someone just dropped that, and that is a very nice one. Dialogue with I, IPOP members, dialogue with agitators, drop your pride and dialogue with these people, guys. We've all heard it now. I'm dropping it here. Share your thoughts with us. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.